I finally got the bike out, ready to go. Get the battery all hooked up. Uh, ended up going to Harbor Freight, just grabbing a ramp real quick. Nice and easy. For some reason, my uh, low volt cutoff buzzer is completely fried, so I'm not sure what to do. I'm uh, carrying around my battery medic, so I'm just gonna have to check the battery quite often because uh, this is a 300 amp controller and my battery is good for about 120 amp max. Well, I'm having some issues with my chain. I just went uh, ripping down that trail and it was a dead end. So you know how on dirt bikes you just kind of put your foot down and and you know burn the ass end out, do a 180. I was doing that and my chain, which at the time was really really overly tight, and now it's just super dangly loose like too loose and I don't even know what happened like I don't know if the back end pulled forward but I mean like I got the bolt in there and the back end tight I don't have any tools to check it right now but after doing that burnout like the 180 with my foot down I mean it did it but now my chains like skipping around like it's it's way too loose I don't know if the chain just stretched because I finally gave a good throttle to burn out and do a I don't know but now I need to tighten my ass end and I don't have any tools with me anywhere so I'm gonna have to go all the way back to my house and try to pull this back end and tighten the chain tighten the chain like what else could have happened did it did it bend all right so we're back on the trail take two here uh, I had to stop home real quick and I used a, a spark plug wrench to tighten up my rear end it worked it was a little bit bigger but it was got the job done now the chains back to being slightly too tight I don't know what's happening I don't know if that bracket bent slightly up top there or if it was just stretching I really don't know what it was but my packs are already down to about four volts uh, I really don't know what the ampacity draw on this is and like I said, my low volt cutoff buzzer is fried, so I just keep plugging my battery medic into it. Let me get it real quick. Yeah, so they're all at uh, 3.98 or 4. Slightly unbalanced since I'm bulk charging now with the uh, Sadiator or whatever the heck. You Okay, so I'm pretty much at the high point in the trail. Uh, the bike did all of it pretty easily. It was fun. Uh, the BHT motor is nice and warm. Pretty hot to the touch. Oh, I just hit my helmet on the handlebar. Oh yeah, that's real hot. Ow. I cannot even. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, that's no good. This motor is completely hot. Very, very hot. I can't touch it. And it's sitting right here. It's probably not helping. Well, the chain's a little better. I had to tighten her up and it seems like it's all right. I don't know. Everything seems straight. I don't know why. Maybe the motor kicked to the side a bit. I have no idea. I gotta check these lapos, make sure they're still good in their voltage range because I'm not frying my bike battery for this thing. Way more fun and comfortable to ride and in the corners it is super, super nice. Way safer. Except when there's mud then you just slide out. I almost ate it earlier. I can't believe how hot this BHT motor is. Holy crap. Yeah, I got one second about as long as you can hold your hand there is the controller even controllers not even close to being warm oh boy what to do what to do this guy might need a bigger motor it's fun I feel like it'll uh, it's enough if I had a few more volts and uh, you know a few more amps I'll try to plug this in one-handed here
Oh, see, they're not too bad. I gotta head back soon though, because under load, I'm sure they're right around that cutoff point. So I need to get about five miles out of this battery, 12 amp hour, it's insanity. It's beating the snot out of them. Although I only went full throttle on that flat part. So around here, I mean, I'm getting on it, but up the hills, I was going a little bit slower, which is probably a bad thing for the motor efficiency, making it hotter. All right, first time ride on an electric dirt bike. Here it is. Don't kill yourself. All it has is front brakes. There's only front brakes. Oh, you say it doesn't have power? Is the chain screwing up? Yeah. Yeah, did you? Something's wrong with it when you try to get on it too hard. Yeah, see it got loose. See, I went to turn around. Yeah. And I went to take off. And that's, that's exactly what happened. That's what happens. Yeah, I know. Is it the bracket? It's the. Yeah, the bracket's bent. Is it bent more? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's bent in. I think that's why. Yeah, you can noticeably tell that thing's bent now. Interesting. It has a lot of up and take off. Like, yeah. I was very surprised by that. That sucks. 